Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. I'm out here in the tomatoes today and we're gonna go ahead and start fertilizing tomatoes. I've been seeing a few comments of folks who tried my DIY fertilizer injector and they've been struggling to make it work. So in today's video, I'm gonna kind of run through the process of how to get your fertilizer injector um, built and work properly. And I'm gonna start running fertilizer on these tomatoes. These tomatoes have been in the ground for about a month now. They are looking awesome. We've been staking them up. A lot of blooms, a lot of vegetative plant. So we are excited about another year of farm fresh tomatoes. Alrighty, so this is my fertilizer injector right here. If you guys haven't seen the video of how I built this, it's on YouTube. I'll, set, I'll let the link down in the description box below, but it's called like dirt cheap fertilizer injector or something like that. And the video has gone a, a viral. There's a few hundred thousand views on that video. A lot of folks have been watching this, the video. But this is what I use on all my greenhouses here. This is what I use in the strawberry field. This is what I use to fertilize the strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, all of our peaches, apples. So this injector right here, just this black piece, um, is what I use, of course, for the for our irrigation on the back. We have a two-inch pipe, so this pipe right here is two-inch. And I turned it down to the, the injector here. But for the tomatoes, since I am using a hydrant, this is a three-quarter inch pipe. So the way this inj injector works it uses the, the, the motion and the energy from the water to suck up the fertilizer in your system. So right here, as you guys can see, uh, the water comes, flows through here, and whenever I'm not irrigating, whenever I'm not fertilizing, I just leave this through. There's no water passing through the uh, injector because there's not enough pressure to suck it up. So whenever you do want to use your injector, you just close the valve here and it starts sucking up. And one of the biggest things you gotta keep in mind with this particular injector, since it is run off of pressure, you must have enough outflow to create the suction. Um, so that's one of the big issues why some of your fertilizer injector isn't working, is you guys don't have enough output or flow through for the injector to stop working. So what I use in a high tunnel, this is a 30 by 96 tunnel. There are seven rows of tomatoes in here. I use the six inch emitters on the drip tape. Uh, on the drip tape, there's many different sizes. There's four inch, six inch, eight inch, a foot. You can even get 18, 24. I mean, there's some drip tapes out there that are 36 inch emitter. So every three foot, there's a emitter. So on the 36 inch, so if you got a really far spacing between your emitters, then that's, you're gonna have a little bit of water dripping through. But the, the, the tighter or the more often you have an, uh, an emitter, the more water you're gonna go ahead and allow to flow through your system. So whenever you buy a pack of drip tape, it should say on it if it's a you know a half gallon per hour per foot or you know or per hundred foot or whatever the, the, the box says. So the drip tape I use is a high flow um, and it's every six inches. So whenever I turn on the water, I what I do first here is I let, allow the uh, the header line to get full of water here. And then right now it's all there's a lot of output. There's a lot of flow going through the, the irrigation system. Um, so if I turn this this way, look how fast it's sucking up. I mean, look at this. It's sucking up really fast. And a lot of folks are like, hey, whenever the, um, the, the lines are getting filled up, it works great. But whenever lines are full, then they have problems with the irrigation sucking, system sucking up. And I have the same issue. So if I, don't, if I leave the, 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 um, the fertilizer injector like this and I walk away, whenever my lines get full, the rate of fertilizer that goes in is a lot less. So a lot of times, when it, once the lines get full, you gotta trim it out all the way to force all the water to go through there, suck it up, and then go through your tomatoes. So if you are struggling to get your fertilizer injector to work, your biggest issue or the thing you gotta fix is what is my output? If you're just trying to fertilize, if I was trying to fertilize just one singular row of tomatoes here with this system, there's not enough output to fertilize the entire, uh, continuously in the entire row, just because there's not enough output there. Um, so you guys see my lines are starting to get full here, and uh, it's not sucking up anymore, there's a little bit. So if I trim this more to get the water going through there, it's gonna continue to suck it up even more and more. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, with this type of system, you have to have enough output of water and flow of water to be able to get the fertilizer code through there and suck it up. I am just sucking up some triple 20 and you can hear, I mean, if you can hear the water right now, my lines are full. Um, so whenever I do this, you can hear it sucking up. 
and it's almost closed. If I close it max, it's just sucking up like no other. Look at that. So my output on my irrigation system is um, is working properly. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm fertilizing seven rows here. Um, so look at this. All these plants are getting water. They're beautiful. They're growing nicely. But I'm fertilizing all seven rows, all 500 tomato plants at a time. I'm not just doing one singular row at a time. That's one big thing to keep in mind with this particular fertilizer injector. Like I said, it works great for me because we do a, a larger volume of plants versus something else. But that's that's why your fertilizer system isn't sucking up because you don't have the flow or the output. Other than that issue, I haven't yet found why the fertilizer system doesn't work, this irrigation system here. Um, so if you guys do have any other issues, I'm gonna just go ahead and comment on this video and I'm gonna try to respond. Like I said, um, there are more expensive fertilizer systems that you can get. If you buy a Dosatron, you guys can purchase those, but they're really expensive and it is more precise. I mean, I'm gonna give you that. You, what you, you get what you pay for. So if you're buying a Dosatron, that's $500. Every ounce of water that goes through that fertilizer uh, injector, it doesn't matter if it's 10,000 gallons an hour or a gallon an hour. You know, it's gonna be the same rate well, and you're paying for it. But if you're trying to go the cheaper route and you're trying to do kind of what we do here on our farm, then this $30, $40 injector um, works great. You just gotta know how to use it properly. And like I said, the biggest thing you gotta keep in mind is I'm doing seven rows at a time. If you're just trying to do one row in your garden, this fertilizer injector might not work as great. You might need to fertilize your entire garden all at once to make it work and make it worth your while. So. Y'all, that's gonna be pretty much it for today. If you guys have any other questions or comments, leave them down in the screen box below. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out Farmer Dre Supply. That's where you're able to find all your gardening greenhouse needs from tomato seeds, tomato plants, irrigation system, that fertilizer injector that we just talked about. Go ahead and check it out. Link is down in the description box below. And if you want to grow some beautiful fruits and vegetables like Farmer Dre, go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, folks, thanks for watching up to this point. I do really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and read all the comments, see what I can help you guys with. And if you guys haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day and we'll see you next time.